Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I'm going to share an altered domino charm. I created this charm for Muriel, who is Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. Um, I made this charm for her as a thank you. Uh, she made me a charm back in February, um, and it was like a Ravens themed charm because the Ravens won the Super Bowl. And um, she, she made it for me, and congratulations that, um, you know, the Ravens won. So I've been wanting to make her a charm as a thank you, and I finally got around to it. So let me show you what I did. And here's like an overview. And I'll get like a little closer so you can see. Okay, so for the paper, I used the DCWV Spring Fling stack, and it was just um, some scraps that I had. And Muriel told me that she likes the colors pink and green, so that's why I decided to use um, that paper stack. And let me see here. Um, this is a piece from the Tim Holtz Chit Chat and it says Believe and I inked around the edge and added that. And then I added two pearls in the middle of the butterfly. And then around the edge I used this bling trim and it looks like this. And I got this from AC Moore. Looks like this. And I like it because it's already on a strand so it's like perfect placement. So that's what I used along the edge of the domino. And then on the back, I just added some bales. Okay. Now I want to point out that on this domino, um, you can see this beautiful glass like finish. And the way that I achieved that was by using resin and you see how that it gives like that domed effect I think it's so beautiful and it's like crystal clear so I am working on a tutorial so I can show you guys how to use resin um, not only to cover dominoes but to make bottle caps um, cover some make your own clothes pins um, and some different embellishments that you can use in your crafting projects but I just love the way that the resin came out I think it's beautiful and so I can't wait to share that with you guys. So that's the domino piece. And then moving on down, I have this little charm here. And this um, I created using a tutorial from Renye. And I'm not sure of her YouTube name but I'll leave the link down below of the tutorial that she did. And I love the way this came out. It's just this beautiful cluster of beads. So as you can see, I used a bead, and then we have um, a rondelle and a bead cap, and a nice big pearl down there, and this beautiful cluster of beads, pearls. Love that. And then here is just another um, little dangle with some beads and some rondelles. And then down here at the end, I used this acrylic butterfly from Michaels and put a butterfly charm in front of that. And I love the way that came out. And this acrylic butterfly was from um, one of these bunches of butterflies that were out around, I guess, in the springtime. So that's what I used for that. And I love the way that came out. I think it's so cute. So that is, so that's my, my charm that I made for Muriel. And I hope she likes it, and I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. And again, I will be doing a tutorial on how to create uh, or to use resin to um, make some different embellishments. And I hope you guys stay tuned for that. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.